Okay, we're gonna take a look at the a new laptop I got that's used, the Dell G3. Let's take a look. So here's the back. Let's see. Two open vents. Looks like there's a fan here on the side. There's another fan over here. Looks like it's dusty over here, dusty over here. This thing overheats pretty easily. So let's see. There's some info on it. I could not find the model number on this. Oh, this is only the service tag. You guys know where the model number is on this? I think this is model number of the display or something. And then let's take a look at the right side. Here's the right side. We have sound port, uh, SD card, headphone jack, two USBs, lock. Here's the back. One vent here, one vent here, and then it looks like there's a vent in the bottom back, which is hitting. Looks like these are push out, push out, push out. This is hitting the this, the monitor itself, laptop screen, which is annoying. On the other side is the speaker, USB-C, looks like power, Ethernet, USB, HDMI. Mm, not sure that one is. I haven't used that ever. Power jack. And then front is nothing. So yeah, it looks like you could open it with I will open this up later because it overheats really fast. Uh, screws over here. Looks like easy to get to. Let's open it up. Let's see. Then here's the keyboard. Full keyboard. Here's the clicks. That's what it sounds like. Here's the keyboard touchpad. Let's see. Then you have to use FN on here to use any of the top ones, which you could lower the and there's Backlit, turn it off and on on this one. Then FN to lower the brightness. And then also to raise the brightness. This is pretty far. One hand's pretty hard. And then tells you on the bottom. So let's see. Mute, lock, lock, mute, volume down, volume up, back on music, play, pause. And forward and gaming. G for gaming. It opens the alien mode. Er, oh, it enables uh, high performance. It forces you to sign in. This is Windows 11. I'm not liking Windows 11 right now. So it feels like there's a lot of ads. So yeah, screen display. I'm gonna change that. And a full number pad. So yeah. And then I loaded some specs on it. Or I ran some look, look up, looked up some specs on it. So here it is. I could even see it. Let's see if you can see it there. So yeah, there's the uh, power consumption consumptions. Voltage, battery meter, wear, charge, battery, max is 60. Dang, this has been used as a lot as the battery. Here's the CPU Z. The CPU in it is Intel i7 10 750H. Wow, 75 watts. I didn't know that. That was pretty high. Is this like a desktop thing or something? Cache. Motherboard, here's a motherboard info, you need it. You can see it. Here, let me zoom in if I can. Let's get you closer, see if you can see that. Okay, there's a memory for DDR4 dual 16 gigs, slot one. 
Lot 2, looks the same. 8 gigs, graphics card, 2060 RTX NVIDIA. There's also a Intel graphics card on it. Bench, if you need to run benchmarks. Let's run a benchmark. Bench does. Pull up task manager while that is running. Yeah, I can't even see if there's a glare or anything. Sorry. My phone holder's in the way. Uh, that is it. Okay. And then the hard drive speed right on 500 MIB. There it is. Let's see. Here's the hard drive CPUs. Looks like 12 core, 6 core, 12 logic core, 12 logic processors, 12 co 6 cores, memory, uh, 250, 512, and SSD, looks like. Looks like an MD NVMe, so 2.5 installed, Wi Fi. There's a Wi Fi. The Intel graphics card. And then the NVIDIA GeForce RTX. <laughs> yeah, this thing like overheats really bad. I think it's really old and Dell has a bad, or it's just old. So yeah. So I'm gonna have to change out the, change the CPU and GPUs heats, thermal paste and see how that runs. And then I just bought some, so I need to look at this. And here is the power cable. Let's see. On one side for the power cable, the cable itself that goes up to the wall is this one. And then three prong. So, yeah, there it is. Okay, and then for the brick, the power supply, this thing's huge. Look at this, it's like, this thing's huge. It is this pin. And for some reason, it's already breaking. Right, right here, it's like coming off. You can see the wires. Wear and tear. They used it pretty nicely. And then here's the specs. Two hundred forty watts. This thing pull, pulls a lot. So yeah, there it is. Output two forty fifty nineteen by twelve. Input two forty five amps, etc. There's the maybe that's the spec. So yeah, there it is. And I am gonna take this apart. Thanks for watching. See you guys.